the bootleg assault rifle. The first assault rifle of this game to come with a drum mag. Shame that it's not a mod that you can add on other weapons, but I guess it's what makes this gun unique. Anyway, let's take a look at what it has to offer. For the unique mods, there's the AML barrel and the bootstrap compensator. And how I've modded this gun is with the AML barrel, the tactical compensator, auto fire, lead combo, rubber grip, speculator sight, and the war torn stock. And this is what the stats look like. It has a magazine of 100, total ammo 250, rate of fire of 667, damage of 42, accuracy of 56, stability of 80, consuming of 9, and threat of 14. And I also have fully loaded, and this gun has 50 more rounds than it normally would right now. So, this gun looks pretty similar to weapons like the Commando 553 and the FAMAS. Very large pool of ammo, pretty meager damage, subpar accuracy, decent stability, a very spray and pray type weapon. So let's see how it performs. Because this weapon has that big old drum mag that lets it carry 100 rounds before reloading, it pretty much effectively makes it more or less better than the other weapons of this type. There aren't too many mods for this gun, so you can't get crazy varied setups, but it's not terrible either. Through a flash hider, a grip, and a stock, you can influence the statistics so that the gun performs a bit more the way you want it to. Maybe full stability, maybe straight damage, maybe accuracy. The way I've modded mine, I've gone for mostly accuracy. I didn't touch the boost since I don't like using them, some people have asked me why I haven't. Uh, it feels pretty cheesy since they aren't even a mod for the weapon, they don't change the appearance, they don't have any downsides. Well, actually, there's a lot of mods that don't have downsides, but you get what I mean. I can live without it. Anyway, I've gone for accuracy as I found the damage and stability to be good enough without really touching upon it. Although this weapon is classified as an assault rifle, I like to think of it more like an LNG than anything else. Loads of ammo, large magazine, they perform pretty similarly. The biggest difference being the bootleg has the ability to aim down the sights, which kind of throws me off since I expect it to be a little bit more accurate than it is, but when I use it, it feels pretty ineffective outside of mid-range. Well, uh, close to mid-range anyway. Which is a bit odd since I feel like when I use other assault rifles that have the same accuracy as the bootleg, they still feel like they have better accuracy than this gun. I don't know, maybe it's just me being dumb. In any case, because of that, I tend to hipfire this a lot when I'm in range of enemies. And though I do like to think of it more like an LMG than anything else, it's quite a bit different. For one, the ability to aim down the sight. Two, it seems to be a bit more stable than most of the other LMGs when you hold down the trigger for continuous fire. It does have a 100 round magazine, which one of the other LMGs has, but it has a much smaller ammo pool than the other guns. Right now, I have 250 rounds. And that's even with fully loaded, while most of the other LMGs start off with 300, if not more. The ammo pickup for the bootleg seems pretty decent, but with how often I just spray and pray it, it's hard to be conservative with ammo, and I more or less find myself running out pretty consistently. That's with fully loaded too. I haven't tried to use the bootleg mod as a single shot weapon, so I can't add anything in that regard. Though, at least to me, it doesn't seem like modding it that way would be all that worthwhile. It would be more accurate, sure, but it would have some pretty meager damage, so you'd end up shooting a whole lot, and I don't think I want to click that much. While it's pretty good for taking care of large crowds and enemies that aren't specials, it does seem to be a bit more annoying to deal with specials with the bootleg. A lackluster damage combined with shoddy accuracy means that you'll probably end up using a good amount of time and ammo to kill a special. I often find myself in the middle of shooting a cloaker or a taser, and then just getting jump kicked or tased before I can kill them. Not only that, but in beta right now, the bulldozers were buffed so that they take less critical damage. So it takes a good half a magazine just to kill a bulldozer. And by the beta, I mean the skill revamp beta. It's not very easy to kill dozers with this gun, and it's pretty easy to get killed before you kill them. Of course, there's also plenty of skills in the beta right now to combat dozers, but that's really another story. This is mostly regarding the weapon's effectiveness by itself. Something I forgot to mention is that since this weapon isn't an LMG, it doesn't have the ability to use bipods, which is kind of a shame since it would be pretty fitting to be able to use it. But then I guess it would have to be able to be moddable for all assault rifles and LMGs would lose what little uniqueness they already had. It's a nice positive that the LMGs have over the bootleg since bipods are insanely useful in my opinion. Totally accurate, no recoil, of course, at the trade-off of your movement. 
but really, all in all, the bootleg isn't very special outside of its large magazine. The magazine isn't a mod that's available for every weapon, and it's unique just to the bootleg, so to me, that's really the only thing it has going for it. I guess to make the most of it, you really have to suit up with a build that can take a lot of punishment. I went with a fairly normal armor setup. The concealment of the gun isn't that great, so trying to do a dodge crit build with it is pretty difficult. If you do have a really good concealment secondary, it is possible, but you'll still have to mod your bootleg for concealment, and doing so further deteriorates the accuracy and stability, so I don't really think it's worth it. Haven't tried it as a silencer setup, but I would imagine it would work fine just as long as you're willing to invest the points in your skills for it. Since this weapon isn't prized for its sniping ability, I tend to pack something hard-hitting and accurate as a secondary, like a single-action army, or one of the more accurate SMGs like the Krenkov or the Swedish K. The bootleg is pretty fun, but it's not all that novel, and it's mostly the large drum mag that keeps me interested in it. It does look really nice, and one touch I really do enjoy is if you pay attention to the magazine when you shoot it, it actually depletes the bullets from the model. So when you've got a full mag, it'll be all full of bullets, and when you shoot it all, it'll be all empty. Pretty nice touch. I do find it kind of odd they didn't decide to add a mod for a regular magazine for increased concealment or whatever. But, I mean, I guess the Tommy gun is basically the same thing. It's got a drum mag, but not a regular straight mag, or whatever the heck you want to call it. Anyway, that's all I got to say about the bootleg. It's got its charm, but it's not mind-blowingly great or anything, and if you're picking up the Sydney pack, you're probably not picking it up just for this gun alone. <laughs>